I'm Sal. I'm, I'm Ben. Today, because Infinity War comes out tomorrow, I thought we'd do the Jonathan Hickman event, Infinity. And then yeah. afterwards, we'll war! Yeah, because we did Infinity War, which you can click the link above Ben to watch. It has nothing to do with the movie. It is no basis for the movie, and you will be very confused when you're finished with the movie, and then you go to, like, the GameStop and pick up a copy of Infinity War with Adam Warlock on the cover. <laughs> You'll be like, perfect, it's big, and it's got lots of characters in it. Oh, it's all about the Infinity Watch. Who are they? Watch the episode and find out how much I don't like them. It's more like this, Infinity Gauntlet. Which also is not really about the Marvel Universe. Although, Thanos does incorporate the gauntlet in that. This story, there, Infinity, connection. has no ties to Jim Starlin, who normally writes an Infinity event, hmm. and created Thanos. However, it is a big basis for Infinity War, the movie, ah. by using characters that were created specifically by the author of the story, Jonathan Hickman. Uh, that being all of the, the entourage for Thanos, the okay. Black Order which are a group of characters literally created by Jonathan Hickman to be important and big badasses that can complement Thanos, who is kind of not really the antagonist of the story. The Black Order is created for this event and then co-opted for the movie. Uh. Um, that includes characters like Corvus Glaive and the Ebony Maw and Proxima Midnight and Black Dwarf and a number of other characters. Uh, who are cool sounding and look very interesting and distinct. Okay. Uh, they also are badasses and are very difficult to defeat. Mm. I remember hearing the name Proxima Midnight in some book we read. She was probably referenced. Mm. Something. But, anyway. Uh, she's cool and a badass. Uh, <laughs> so the story of Infinity is like part nine of a 47 chapter series that Jonathan Hickman has been doing since he started writing Fantastic Four. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it all continues into Secret Wars, which is, of course, a story that we have very intimate knowledge about. Yeah. But we're not going to cover here. The prelude, as much as I can, is that uh, the Avengers are dealing with universal threats. The Illuminati is dealing with uh, the incursions. Ah. Oh, so this is recent. Yeah, yeah. It's only three years old. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, the incursions are coming. Uh, <laughs> universes are being destroyed. Earths are coming into view of our Earth and going to be colliding with them. And so the Illuminati knows about it, and they are doing their damnedest to prevent the destruction of Earth are Prime. They, are they yet, like, blowing up other Earths? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they are blowing up other Earths. Thankfully, right now, at this point, they've only been blowing up Earths that have been raised or have no people on them. Uh, but we're getting but there. But we're getting there, and eventually they will be tested. Their metal will be tested. The incursions are capturing the attention of... Of another race of beings that Jonathan Hickman creates to make this thing possible. <laughs> called the Builders. And the Builders are like gross bug looking monsters. <laughs> yes. That seemingly created everything. And like they are basically like a race <laughs> of God who made everything and oh, destroy that everything. Sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but they're cool though. And are they gross? Yeah, they look gross. Like, you don't want to look at them? You don't want to look at them. One. I will pull up a, a builder for you. <laughs> but they're gross. And they're... Basically, they find out about the incursions. Yeah. And so they decide, like, okay, well, I live in reality, which is being threatened by the destruction of these worlds. Mm -hmm. And so I think what I need to do is destroy the main Earth in order to prevent the incursions from happening. Oh. And so they start wrecking planets and destroying civizations on their way to Earth. And I mean, we're going to destroy Earth anyway, so why not wreck everything else? Why not get else? some practice in? Right? You don't go up to bat without taking a couple swings first. It's true. And so, like, these builders are just coming out of left field and wrecking everything. Okay, I have a real big problem with this because they're called the builders, not the destroyers. Well, they Sometimes also destroy. Build, you have to okay. destroy first. This is true. Yeah. This is garbage. Well, you it's gotta, not. You gotta so. tear down, you know, the old to build the new. That, that's very true. And yeah. that's their philosophy. But the builders kind of seemingly built everything. 
And so they're coming, mm. and as uh, and where they've been hiding, like well, in non-existence because Hickman only <laughs> created them for this freaking event. Uh, yes, and of like rewriting the Marvel uh, galactic landscape. He, but everybody liked it, so nobody cried foul. Okay, and they're cool. So I guess who am I to complain? Right. I get it. I don't like the idea of just like a bug like creature race creating everything like all of existence well, we look like it's... bugs to them i guess no not that yeah, they're they don't bugs. like the idea of like a monkey yeah. i don't care if they're bugs what i don't if they're care if they're celestials or they look like the kree supreme intelligence why aren't they celestials why weren't why right? did the well, celestials create hey, it? because maybe it'll turn out at the end that like no. they're lying no no oh. not in any way no nope sorry <laughs> so no. everything you thought you knew about the creation of the galaxy before this book is wrong yes okay yeah, but it's okay because Hickman said it was different. Sure. And people were like, I guess. No, they were like, yes. They were on board. They were Every, so, every step so of the fucking way. For the builders. <laughs> yes. All right. So the builders are coming. And uh, the Illuminati's like, but we gotta, we, but the incursions are coming. Yeah, we can't so, like, deal with the incursions and the bugs. No. So the Illuminati's like, well, we'll deal with the incursions. We're also, like, doing it in secret anyway, so, like, I guess I just won't tell anybody. We'll just continue to deal with these incursions. <laughs> right, right. I want that guy in a movie. Well, he is. He's going to be in Infinity War. Sweet. Who yeah. is he? He's an outrider. Oh. Outriders are a race of genetically created monsters that do the bidding of their creators. And the creators of them are uh, Thanos and his Black Order. More specifically, Corvus Glaive, who's this awesome-looking uh demon looking guy right here cool. and he carries a glaive so like it's fair yeah and the glaive is like a horcrux so like part of him is imprinted onto it and so <laughs> if, if he's killed as long as the staff remains like he can't be killed oh, he and they, if the staff is destroyed he can like create another one i guess maybe? no then he's dead if oh. you break the staff in him then that's it yeah but like if he's well, still just alive the staff just yeah if you break the staff a part of him will die i assume it doesn't really come into play mm. but uh they kill him at the end of the story, and then they bring him back later, and you're like, what? And it's because of the glaive. Oh. Uh, so you don't know now. No. But I'm just wrecking it. Yeah. But I don't, But who cares? <laughs> Story's right. three years old, and everybody read it, so. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, like, so the Outriders are, like, looking for things. And, by the way, there's, like, more than one Outrider. But he's called the Outrider, even though they're all called Outriders. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> he's, like, the main one. Yes. This looks like a giant, like, field of, of skulls. skulls. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, because that's where Thanos is chilling. Uh, on Titan, the planet he comes from. Or right, the moon he comes the moon, from. Yeah. So he made himself a giant platform of skulls. Yeah. yeah on a mountain of skulls and a castle of pain, a he of sits on a throne of blood. Like Vigo the Carpathian. The Outrider is sent to get information for Thanos. Uh, meanwhile, other characters, other members of the Black Order are sent across the cosmos to send a tribute to Thanos. Um, Thanos is looking for something. And it has nothing to do with the Builders. Okay. It's separate. separate <laughs> yeah, there's plot three line. stories in this. The Illuminati are dealing with the incursions. The Builders are wrecking everything, which is ironic. And there's Thanos who's looking for something. Okay. That's okay. the story we're telling. Okay. And I'm not going to go into all the minutia of this book. You want to do it? Read the book is what I recommend. <laughs> but if you do, be prepared for a book that's a lot longer than this. Be prepared to read all the Fantastic Four and all of the Avengers books and all the new Avengers books and all of the ancillary Silver Surfer tie-in books that are also connected that are all written by Jonathan Hickman because he has a story to tell and he is by gum going to do it. How and could he write that much? Because he's a lunatic <laughs> who's got like yarn attached to pictures all all across his goddamn house. Well, you don't understand. What if people aren't reading Infinity? If they're reading Fantastic Four, I gotta hook them there, too. Yeah, it's true. I mean, like, and it is all connected, and it does seemingly fall right into place with each other. Wow. That's but, like, what's impressive. frustrating is it's like he makes up stuff so that it works. Like, he's like, okay, and then the and then the builders come. Well, who are the builders? Well, I just made them up. But then the Black Order shows up, and, and who are they? Well, I made them up, too. And, uh, but then the Outrider is gonna go, and he's gonna, he's oh, gonna infiltrate. Oh, I made him up, too. <laughs> and, uh, but don't worry, because Corvus Glaive, like, there's, uh, yeah. And the Black Swan gives the information to the Alliance. Illuminati. Ooh, who's Black Swan? Another character I invented. A race of beings I invented. <laughs> Why well, didn't you just create an entirely new book? Right. Why didn't you just write well, a book I for Image to put Iron Man and stuff in it? Yeah. Well, because no one would buy it if Iron Man wasn't in it. Yeah. And like, look, it's real hard to tie it all together if I make 
Iron Man and Doctor Strange and the Fantastic Four like integral parts driving the plot. Yeah. Then I have to get into all their stuff. What if I just bring in stuff from the outside? Yeah. And they could just bomb in on those well, other books. Because there's already an established thing. cosmology in this universe. Yeah, but like it's real hard to work it into a, 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 a galaxy but, threatening storyline. Yeah. Wouldn't it be better if there wasn't all that continuity? Yeah. Or if like I just ignore it and make it my own? Yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, like, everyone's on board for. So, like, me being like, yo, Jonathan Hickman just, like, ignores, like, all this stuff and, like, retcons a lot of things just so he could tell one story and everyone's like, shut your face! Shut your face! It's awesome, though! And, like, look, it is. But But he did that. But this should be a what if, then. It's Uh, no. I mean, like, here's the thing. Like, Earth X takes liberties. And it's cooler. But that didn't happen. And that's why it's over there. So, like, yeah, it could be a what if. But this sold better. Yeah. And it, you know what? It it's you gonna be in the movie. It probably sold better because it's so much stuff. People are like, I'm getting so much well, story out of this. Buying, they are. They're buying those books anyway. That's the thing. Like, yeah. Like, right. They're already buying Fantastic Four. They're already buying Avengers. Avengers. Yeah. And the other thing is, like, if you're gonna if you're gonna buy Avengers and you're gonna keep buying Avengers regardless of who's writing it or what's happening, you're in on this story because mm-hmm. that's where this story is being told. Mm-hmm. Now, Infinity did have its own series called Infinity that told like the main story. Right. It's seven issues and it doesn't have nearly as much in it, <laughs> but you have to read Avengers and New Avengers to know what's happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyway, the uh, Outrider is gonna. Uh, get information because like Thanos has plans and he's looking for something uh-huh. and he's thinking like maybe I could use the gauntlet again. You're not going to tell us the what gauntlet. He's the gaunt- for? Well, the gauntlet. I'll tell you in a minute. But like the <laughs> gauntlet is uh, on Earth. The Illuminati retained it okay. and they dispersed the Infinity Gems amongst themselves, if you recall. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, what happened was when the first incursion hit, they were like. Okay, well, I know what we'll do. We'll break our sacred oath to never use the Infinity Gems all in unison, and we'll give it to Captain freaking America. Right. And he will wield the gauntlet, and he will will the planet into another plane of existence. He did. Uh, it didn't work, and all the gems but the time gem exploded. So they wrecked all the Infinity Gems. The Outrider goes to Earth to find information, and he, he finds out that the Earthlings wrecked all the gems! <laughs> Except for the time gem, which, like, it blinked out of existence. So, like, good luck finding it. Right. But uh, he has a cool moment where he's, like, he's, he's like, sifting around. And he can be kind of, like, invisible or intangible if he wants to be. So mm-hmm. he's, like, he's like digging into people's minds. He goes to, like, the Jean Grey school and he's trying to figure out. And he finds out that, like, uh, Beast's gem, because Beast inherited Xavier's role on the Illuminati when Xavier was killed by a phoenix possessed cyclops okay so beast is a member of the illuminati and okay. he knows where his gem is but it's con and so he finds out about that uh but also these x-men are fragmented because of the story called schism where cyclops and wolverine have a big fight and uh they both create different schools uh wolverine makes the one after the dead ex-wife of uh cyclops, <laughs> cyclops. and cyclops makes one after the guy he murdered and so <laughs> you know it's just a big incestuous gross joke but uh the x-men are fragmented is the point of it mm-hmm. and so who's that guy <sighs> okay if he's we start doing Captain America, that's like... ex nilio and ex nilio is another character that jonathan Hickman created oh, for God the story okay he's the gardener and he's like He's the gardener? Yeah, he like... he of what? He, he determines whether or not, like, life on sentient worlds deserves to be, like, enhanced or obliterated. Oh. And, uh... That's a lot of responsibility. Yeah, well, he's a... He's, he, more or less, he's an elder. But, yeah. like, an elder that Hickman created, and so because he created him, he's not called an elder. But, uh, anyway, they have an adventure with him in the first arc of Hickman's takeover of the Avengers. Okay. And at the end of the day, they don't destroy him, and they, like, leave him on the surface of Mars, where he started... And uh, eventually, when everything goes to shit and the Avengers find out about the Builders wrecking everything, they form the largest assemblage of Avengers ever put together in one space. And they ask Ex Nilio to become an Avenger. And he's like, sure. <laughs> okay. So he's on the team. Cool. Whatever. Yeah. So that's who Ex Nilio is. Yeah, it's like adding right. a business card to my wallet. Uh, I don't care. Yeah, right. I right. like the fact that the Outrider can get information, like, by... By just digging like into their brains. But, like... Brain. It's magic or, or incorporeal stuff, but yeah. like it's not like tearing their head he off. This is rip into their face and go like, "Tell me information I want." No, or like, "I'll give you twenty bucks." <laughs> right? Yeah. No. Every member of the Black Order, who the Outrider technically is not a member of, but like whatever, like he uh, works for them. Yeah, he's like a he's like a puppet of them, or or uh, more like a weapon. Right. Uh, but uh, 
there's no, numerous members of the Black Order who all have like a speciality. Corvus mm-hmm. Glaive is like the the front man, you know, even though like you know <laughs> Thanos, the front is the man. Front man. But he mm-hmm. shows up. He's like he goes. He sings songs of the he's reverence. The hype man. He's the hype man yeah. of Thanos. He turns his glaive upside down. There's a microphone on the other side. It's more like he spins the glaive. My lords and ladies. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I was gonna say he spins the glaive like a subway uh, sandwich guy spins his sign <laughs> to attract attention. Okay. To dazzle that the is eyes. Incredibly dangerous. <laughs> Someone gets close. They just get a little they get knocked off. Yeah. But the ebony maw is very scheming. He's the kind of guy with slip twenty bucks. But he's okay. like, he's like, ooh, like he always tries to play people against themselves, and you know, mm. he's always like whispering in your ear. They, I think they refer to him as the whisperer, but like he's the kind of guy who would like slip twenty bucks. I guess that's much. why the ebony maw, like the maw, is the mouth. Yes, that's another guy. Um, no, Corvus Glaive is the mouth. Ebony maw, is somebody else. No, because like, but he, but he would like whisper. But he has to maw you. in his name, right? He has right. Mouth. Yes, yes, the ebony. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Good yeah. point. All right, fair enough. So uh, anyway, the Outrider is like digging into Black Bolt's mind, and that's where mm-hmm. he finds out about like how his his gems wrecked. But he's also like finding out more information about like the Inhumans and how like maybe they have something he wants. And then he bumps into Black Bolt, who says, "Get out of my mind." Whoa! And then Black Bolt rips off one of the Outrider's arms <laughs> as he wakes up from his sleep, and then just gets dressed and calls. Well, he more or less like he. Communicates Thanks. to the Outrider. You ring a little bell. Yeah, more or less. Like I think the Outrider is like hauling ass out of Attilan, <laughs> and everybody like who's in the member of the royal family is like, "Oh shit!" There's like a there's a multi armed monster dude running through, and so they try to give him chase, and uh, it winds up making quick work of them. And uh, and, and yes. Black Bolt winds up trying to like he whispers at it and like doesn't he he wrecks him but doesn't kill him, and the Outrider does manage to escape oh. with the information he wanted. Jeez. So you're like, oh shit. So then Black Bolt's like, well, guess I gotta call the Illuminati. So he calls the Illuminati, tells them about like what's happening. Mm-hmm. And so the Illuminati assemble and they get together and they're like working on their thing. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Sword, the uh, space version of Shield, more or less, yeah. gets the like transmissions because they're they, basically their job is to monitor what's happening outside planet Earth. Yeah. And judge whether or not it's gonna be a threat to Earth. So they find out about, like, how everything's getting wrecked. <laughs> so they call the Avengers. The Avengers show up, and they're like, okay, I guess we gotta go deal with this, because... Let's go into space. There's these things that are wrecking everything, and they're wrecking, like, the everything. Shi'ar, and the Kree, and everything. In fact, they actually wind up getting a tip about uh, some scrolls, and they go to, like, kick the shit out of them, and, of course, murder them, because they have no souls. Right. You know, even though they're a sentient race of beings with art and agriculture... No, like, we hate fuck them! them. But they go and they, they, they wreck them, and what they find is that they're not, like, warriors or soldiers or, like, a scouting party. They're refugees. Uh. They're just, like, desperate. And all of a sudden, we care about that! <laughs> but they're, like... <laughs> but, well, uh, once they're vulnerable and weak, yes. and now so, it's okay to treat them are like they people. Feed them Earth? to venom! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just hiding. At that point, that's when you just put them on a ship, just like a raft, and be like, Not here! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put them on a, a, in like a capsule, just kick them into the sun. Uh, but uh, yeah, they meet them and they're like, oh shit. And that's when they get the tip about like how there's, people are just getting driven from their home worlds. And, you know, the Skrulls have had it harder than most. Yes. But, uh, and also I can imagine the Avengers, like, at no point do we get this moment where the Avengers are like, Skrulls again? <laughs> no! You know, like, oh no, we're, we're refugees. I've heard it all. Secret invasion! Kick to the face! <laughs> oh, yeah, you're refugees. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Need, well, Wait. and I suppose you need us to take you to Earth, right? Where, right. Where we'll, like, integrate you into our society. Yeah, yeah, we did that already. Yeah, I don't think... Blam. Yeah, right. <laughs> Venom. Eat them. Eat them. So, oh, do your on, thing. Guys, yeah. that's a lot of refugees to eat. Eat their yeah. brains. Just eat their brains. Just eat their faces. Or, or all of them. So, eat their brains? Why yeah. would I do that? I would never say that. Yeah. But, God. uh... It's fun. Oh, because, I said that. So, oh. So the Avengers are going into space to deal with this threat because they know it's coming to Earth. Sure. And they're like, well, well I guess we'll go. We'll, we'll fight it in space so we don't have to fight it here. Yes. Yeah. Earth would get wrecked. And, like, let's wreck other planets. Yeah. Who cares? Let's go fight in the Kree homeworld or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they leave, and the Outrider learns of this when he's, like, digging in people's minds. Yeah. He also learns about, like, because he goes to the Jean Grey school, he finds out about how, like, the X Men are fucked and fragmented. He goes to. You know, Attilan or Adelan, however you want to pronounce it. He's, like, learning about how, uh... They had the gems. They had the gems. And he also learned about how, like, Wakanda and uh, Atlantis are at war at this point. 
because uh, when Namor was possessed by the Phoenix Force, he led an invasion force and fucked up Wakanda, and it wound up creating like really bad tensions between the two plant or the two countries. Right, and, and they're so not like, willing to like take like I, but I was infected nope. by the Phoenix Force as like a reason. No, nope, it's just a con. People, yeah, right? no, no. So they Funny. just yeah. I get that. <laughs> Technically, Wakanda has like a border. Because it's yeah. a landmass. Yeah, yeah. Does but what, Atlantis have oh, no. a border? Or is it just anything under the water is Atlantis? Namor sees it that way. <laughs> <laughs> if it's under the water, you're in Atlantis, technically. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, how do you how do you not like stop Atlantis from invading like immediately? Yeah. Like Wakanda has no access to the ocean. So it's like, oh, uh, just look up or oh anywhere in the direction of the ocean yeah. and you'll find the Atlantis invading force and you just stop them anywhere between Wakanda and the ocean right. but i digress it's it's re- barely relevant <laughs> okay. uh, but uh yeah so basically the idea the conceit is cuz the outrider everybody's returns busy. everybody's busy yeah. and the avengers just left yeah. and so the outrider returns to uh glaive to glaive and he's like Here's the deal, and then Glaive tells Thanos because they, they're the big reveal. Thanos is the one, right? But so he tells, what? Uh, oh my god! He tells Thanos that uh, what you're looking for is probably on Earth, and Thanos is like, but you know, normally when we go to Earth, it sucks and we get our asses kicked, but it's never been more fucked up, and all the Avengers are gone. Mm-hmm. Well, any of the ones that are powerhouses, anyway. Right. So Thanos is like, nice. <laughs> so Thanos is going to invade Earth. Mm-hmm. So the Avengers are in space fighting builders, or at least they're about to. Uh, the Illuminati. The Illuminati are dealing with incursions, them. and Thanos is going to take over. So like you just you're dealing with all these multiple fronted wars. Right. right. So then we get the rest, and then we get the rest. What's well, Doctor no. Strange doing? Doctor what's, Strange what's is here. Uh, the Ebony Maw is whispering into. Do- he's dealing with Doctor Strange. Because he doesn't want Doctor Strange... He, he actually gets information through Doctor Strange because Doctor Strange is looking for what Thanos is looking for. Oh. Because Black Bolt finds out through the dreaming with uh, with the Outrider, like, th- somebody's looking for something. Uh-huh. Like, Thanos is looking for something. So, so we got to deal with it. doesn't know what so it is. So we got to no, find what Thanos something. is looking for. Yeah, before he finds it. So Do we uh, know what he's looking for? I don't know. Just we will find everything. out. In fact, the, the story kind of opens up with... Uh, the uh with Corvus Glaive going before like this this planet and he's like hi I'm Corvus Glaive I heard about your great warrior <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry and, Woo! yeah exactly or like okay, let's now go ready. Corvus <laughs> but he's like listen I heard about your great warrior I'm wondering where he is do you guys know of course you don't because I slaughtered him before I got here here's his very important sword that you all had like <laughs> held up and revered uh, here's the deal. I'm gonna kill all of you. You see, the idea was Thanos came here a while back and he slaughtered nearly all of you. You all tried to rise from the ashes and rebuild your society. I'm back to tell you, yo, that ain't gonna happen unless you give me a paltry offering. Give me the offering, we'll uh, we'll, we'll call ourselves square. You don't. Thanos will come and kill everybody because I killed your greatest warrior and Thanos is more powerful than me. So what you won't do? So they give him the offering. And what is the offering? The offering is the heads of all the children between ages 16 and 22. Oh my god. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. And Thanos like, nice. Thanks. All right. But that was like, that was what the glaive or... or, uh, Corvus Corvus Glaive. Glaive. Well, that's what Corvus Glaive or Thanos requested. Or was that just like... They had to it come was, up with something. No, it wasn't Guys, like, we have to think of a paltry offering. Uh, <laughs> how about the heads of all of our children? How about cheese or <laughs> any other thing? Maybe like all yeah, the gear. Yeah, gift basket, from... man. Jesus. Yeah, dude. Like, how about like a go- how about a coupon at every uh, restaurant on our planet? No, no, I think these no. heads are working. You, you, you jump to the heads every single time. Every time we need to fill a pothole or we need to deal with like a city council meeting, you recommend cutting off the heads of our children ages 16 to 22. I don't get it. I hate these damn kids and I want them off my lawn. <laughs> so Glaive returns to Earth because like Thanos is coming. And he's like, all right, so hi, I'm Corvus Glaive. Uh, I, uh, one of my guys was here earlier and uh, he got information that I needed. But like, I'm here to just get... Uh, the offering that you guys need to give me, otherwise we're going to wreck everything. Mm-hmm. And same deal. Same deal as the other planet yeah. that like the audience knows about, but you guys don't. <laughs> uh, but here it is. Uh, heads of the 16 to 12, or to 22 year olds. And they're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm yeah. sorry. What? <laughs> yeah, because they're like, we're in humans. There's barely enough of us as it, as it is. Like, <laughs> no. Actually, that's not a bad idea. 
What do we have, like, three people between the ages of 16 and 22? <laughs> right? Knock yeah. yourselves so out. That big a sack? Well, we'll be right, like, do it. it. No, it would be a bad idea because, like, what <laughs> Thanos wants is is not in a Tillin, but oh. is directly connected to the Inhumans. Okay. Um, oh. So... The Illuminati meets up with 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 Black Bolt. He meets them in the in the sphere where he can talk, okay. and he just straight up explains to them what's going on. So, uh, there's a sphere where he can talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it yeah. Okay, it's very it's, it's very yeah. It's it's a lot easier than that's like, happened before. Holding up a sign, yes, or or like learning sign, learning language. sign language. He's not gonna do that exactly. Like that's happened before this book, right? Man, so the Ebony oh no, Ma he, is still riding fucking. Oh, he rides Doctor Strange the entire time. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Like, Ebony, Maw, Ebony Maw bugs Doctor Strange or distracts him until he finds what Thanos actually wants. And then he plays an integral role in that story. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he basically just like dupes Doctor Strange the entire time. So he convinces Doctor Strange that like he's a well, good he, guy? No, no. He invades Doctor Strange's mind oh. and like casts illusions. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no. Uh, Doctor Strange should be like... Bitch, please. No, I know, <laughs> but he doesn't. Well, this guy, Ebony Maw is super powerful. Yeah. He's... Super psychic or whatever. Yeah, he's really powerful. He's magic. We just invented him, so he's yeah, really, he he, his powerful powers untold. Like, that's like need him to be. So uh, the Avengers hook up with the Galactic Council, which is like we've met them before. Mm-hmm. Group of assholes who fucking hate Earth because <laughs> Earth has never been allowed on the Council, never been invited, never even knows that it exists. Well, yeah. and Gladiator will make sure of that right. Gl- yeah, Gladiator will put them all on fucking trial. It's... And the Galactic Council goes. So the idea is uh, the bu- the builders are coming and they've wrecked everybody. So we need to surrender. We've been through this a number of times. With the builders? No, we've, we've oh. been through the gauntlet a few times in yeah, terms of like... we know when we're beat. Yes. <laughs> and like, trust me. And Cap is like, what? That's that's like loser talk. Oh. We win all the time. And like, <laughs> all I do is win. That's I right. Never I never lose. I've never lost. And even when I lose, like sometimes I find a way to like spiritually win. win. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, so here's the thing. Worth, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot, right? And they're like, sh- like, Earthlings are children. But like, yo, you know what? Let's listen to them. This is the first time they've been here. Let's, let's, let's give them let's a, give shot. a shot. Cap's like, no, like, all we need to do is find out how to win. What, what good would it do to surrender anyway? They're destroying I planets. know. Well, they're, 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 they're like, oh, you, you surrender? We accept your surrender. Destroy. Yes! <laughs> yeah! But it's also like, well, at least we'll be destroyed instead of like being beaten savagely until <laughs> we're dead. So... So the Avengers team up with the Galactic Council and they get like fleets of ships and they oh. get like all their like, they get like a rock and awesome space work. battle that's ready to go and so they like they go and meet the builders fleet head on and wow. the builders fleet is made of like six seven ships oh. and they're like oh well we should be fine right so they engage and they're kicking butt a little bit you know they're like they're causing some explosions they're not beating any builders but they are like causing a dent uh-huh. and then like the rest of the builders fleet decloaks oh. which is made of like dozens of ships yeah and they completely wreck them yeah they ruin their day you can play with this it's... but they ruin the avengers <laughs> day and the galactic council's day they take oh. key members of the avengers hostage oh, and geez. prisoner including the hulk guys did what? we yeah did we have any ships that we have cloaked that we can Uncloaked? That was not part of the plan. The plan was to go and fight them. Not oh. to, like, deceive them and, like, reveal we had way more forces. This is the force. Oh, I feel really stupid right now. So, uh, <laughs> they get wrecked, and then, like, they barely manage to escape. In fact, some of them don't. Uh, and, and they leave. And so they go and lick their wounds, and they, they try and figure out what they're going to do next. Yeah. What happens with the people that are captured? They just get taken hostage. Like, they, yeah, not hostage. They'll come back hostage later, implies right, so. that they have, like, that they're going to parlay for them back. No. They they're just prisoners. Get, they're prisoners. So they're just the kept. And the builders have, like, been around since the beginning of time. So they they can build a cage that can hold the Hulk. Like, that's, that's what you got. Yeah. So Thanos shows up and he's like, uh, no, I was serious about that with those heads. <laughs> Give them. And, uh, and so uh, Black Bolt reveals himself and he screams... In Thanos' face. Mm-hmm. No. Which uh, wrecks everything. Yeah. Because here's the deal. Uh, they were given 24 hours notice. Mm-hmm. And like, tell you what. You're obviously upset. <laughs> the request of... The, <laughs> it's, their, their, it's a big ask. Yeah. All the heads of the ages 16 to 22 year old children. It's a big so ask. we'll give you 24 hours to think about Plus, it. Plus, like, you're going to want to find a big tray to put them all on for us. <laughs> oh, no. The last and... planet just gave them a bag. <laughs> so, uh... 
Must Thanos shows back bag. up and he's like, it's a big bag. So he shows back up and he's like, all right. Well, actually, it's because Thanos like slaughters their entire civilization beforehand. So like, it's a small bag. It's a, it's, it's a really sad sized oh, bag. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Oh, the rest of you were like maybe 150 people. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, so we've, we've, we've doomed you. We've, we've, we've driven you to extinction. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Thanos goes to face uh, Black Bolt and Black Bolt's like, no. And what happened was, in the 24 hours, Black Bolt evacuated the city. Right. So Except for, could. like, I guess his council? Uh, it's him. It's, like... it's his douchey brother Maximus the Mad, who is, like, sometimes his greatest enemy and sometimes, like, a helpful member of the team. And, uh, and I... Lockjaw. And Lockjaw. <laughs> because he's, you know, he's a teleporting dog. We yeah. could use somebody like that on the team right now. Mm. So Black Bolt screams no in Thanos' face and destroys Attilan. Wow. Yeah. And for his troubles... It winds up setting off this Terrigen bomb that releases the Terrigen mist all across the world. That's where the Terrigen bomb happens? Yes. Does he know there's a Terrigen bomb? See, here's the thing. Set off? Yes. Uh. But he pretends not to be aware of it. It was a casualty of his uh. attempt to assassinate Thanos. Sure. But then when he meets up with Maximus the Mad, Maximus is like, you meant to set that fucking bomb off, though. And Black Bolt goes... <laughs> and you're like you son of a bitch God damn. Hey, now what's funny is it it's also obviously just a promoter directive of being like make more Inhumans right but it's also narratively satisfying because the the Inhumans are a dwindling species and Black Bolt desperately wants to have more of his own kind right so like alright I'll give you it in this story sure, sure but we are getting a story that's coming up called The Death of Inhumans so yay <laughs> because I hate these gremlins but uh <laughs> So this, of course, triggers a awakening of new Inhumans. Sal, Sal, you didn't tell us. Does it kill Thanos? Oh no, it does not. Believe it or what? not, even what? though, like, even though, if you were dealing with uh, Black Bolt in like the seventies, if he had screamed no, it would have cracked the planet in half. Uh, let's say that uh, you know he gets like a, he has laryngitis or something. The casualty of, of, of Black Bolt's attempt to, to kill Thanos is that he wrecks his own city, but triggers new Inhumans, and uh, winds up triggering the powers of this character named Thane, who has been hiding in Wakanda. Uh, Thane was just kind of like this meek, timid character who desperately wanted to heal. Uh, he's also the the son of Thanos and the thing that Thanos is looking for. Oh, and that's why Thanos wants anyone, any, any anyone from ter particular planets that's ages sixteen to twenty two. Because I've been to different planets, I banged different people uh, sixteen to twenty two years ago, and uh, I'm look. So the I want my is, son. And I want him dead. Yes, that's exactly what oh. Thanos wants. He wants to kill his own son because he tasks him. <laughs> Yeah, why? Because he exists? Yes. Because he could be a threat? Yes. Yeah. Yes. One day he might overthrow me? Yes. I guess only the spawn of Thanos would, could, kill could Thanos? ever be strong enough to take him on. Not like anybody else could. I mean, yeah. well, you know to, what? Like, or... that is definitely the case in the you know, story. Thanos... <laughs> it, seems, it seems like the builders might be able to. Yes. See, Thanos uh, read Oedipus, and it really affected him. Yeah, he's like, he's like, oh my god. <laughs> Did you guys see this? And they're like, Are you yeah. aware of the story? Did we all passed seventh grade English. It's terrible. I, this is, I've got to deal with this right now. This is Right this now, is this happens? is the most pressing event. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have a wife that he might have sex with? No! No, he doesn't have wives. He just has concubines. No, so, the other part of it. Oh, I see. <laughs> no, it's my mom! Uh, so, yeah, no. So Thane is awoken as an Inhuman, and now he looks a lot more like Thanos, and his Inhuman powers, of course, that he can, like, cause great destruction, death, and devastation. Mm -hmm. And he winds up like... Which is what Thanos loves. Yeah, but it's, all, it's like, more like, oh, no, Thane is actually now a threat. Right. And, uh... He kills, like, everyone that he was trying to, like, help and heal in this village that he was working in. So, oh. Like, yeah. he kills them because it's, when he like, was, when bad he, luck? No, it's just no. when he was awoken, like, he emitted, like, a, a wave happens. of death. Yeah. Um, oh. So, so Thane is now, like, revealed. Yeah, more he's on the table. And Thanos finds out that, like, where he needs to go is Wakanda, so he goes there. With, uh, the, you know, 
And the Black Order kind of like is fragmented. They're doing they're they're basically keeping the world at bay because like since the Avengers aren't here, the X Men can't do anything. Right. Also, probably because there's a directive on high that says don't make the X Men important. Uh -huh. But uh, let's pretend it's because this is an Avengers book and the X Men are just not equipped to handle it, even right. though they've always been and they've probably had more space stories than the Avengers. Mm -hmm. So Shut up, we're not making movies about the right. Yeah, now. exactly. <laughs> so the Galactic Council and the Avengers are like desperately trying to figure out what they're going to do next, and the, they're like, well, uh, uh, surrender should probably be on the table at this point Cap's like no the only thing you do when you lose is you work harder to win <laughs> so he's like okay we gotta strategize I've got it so so Cap hatches his plan and his plan involves like breaking onto builder ships breaking out his his friends friends yeah. and anyone else that the builders might have taken captive okay. because now if we free those prisoners we've got ourselves an army okay so the so a fragment of the Avengers goes and does that and they break out their people. The Builders' power is really just their technology, I guess? The Builders' power is that they're, like, really tough. And there's, like, a lot of them? And there's a lot of them. Like, they're, they're not, like, resilient? too many of them. Oh. Yeah, they're resilient. They're, they're Yeah, they seemingly can't be killed. Oh, okay. okay. And they have powerful ships, I guess? Yes. Okay. And, like, they made everything. Yeah. You know, like, who are you to fucking spit in the face of God, even if he looks like the Giver? Right. Um, I mean, especially if he looks like... Guyver. Right. That guy's hardcore. He is hardcore. Just like the Builders. So, yeah. Uh, but the Builders are, like, tough. And, and seemingly... I mean, like... Ronan the Accuser is like, he can't be killed. And mm. you're like, oh, shit. Well. Well, there you go. Well, I mean, if Ronan the Accuser says it... I mean, like, yeah. Do they... <laughs> do they explain... Do the Builders explain, like, what's going on at any point? No! It's really annoying, actually. Yeah. Because what's funny is, like, they're clearly... Their, their actions are meant to preserve the existence of the universe at yeah. the end of the day. Uh -huh. So, like, the but, incur they're trying to stop the incursions? Yeah, more or less, yeah. They're trying to, they're trying to stop the fucking, like, in imminent heat death of the universe. <laughs> but they won't tell anybody, that that's... and they're real dicks about it. <laughs> like, just like, look, I'm just going to kill you if you're in my way. Yes. For no reason. Yes. So Cap, like, sends a communique to the builders. We're surrendering. Oh, wow. And okay. they're like, right. Okay. Okay. And they're like, we'll send a contingent to, to, to negotiate the terms of surrender. We'll, we'll send a contingent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they, they send so they send Thor. Okay. Because he's, he's a big powerhouse. And they're like, and this will show our seriousness. Sure. And meanwhile, of course, they're also freeing their captors over there. But yeah. don't worry about that. Uh, so, so it's a lie. Yes. Yeah, it's a, Obviously, it's, a, it's a deception. But yeah. yes. So Thor... You fight even harder. Yes. Yeah, so, by lying. So Thor stands before uh, one of the builders. And he's got Mjolnir ready to go. And the builder's like, you're here to surrender. Get rid of your weapon. Like, get that thing as far away from you as possible. So Thor's like, fine. So he throws Mjolnir away. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it goes far, 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 far away. It's a very nice ploy. Yeah. Nice. So uh, the builder's like, and, and now kneel. Oh. And Thor's like... <sighs> so the builders, like, care about that? Yeah. Like, making people kneel? Yeah. So they're conquerors? Yeah. They're dicks. I thought they just wanted to preserve the universe. No, they want to preserve themselves and the universe they live in. Why didn't they do it's any why of they're this wrecking planets ever before? If because they the incursions aren't happening before. They're happening now. But they want to rule everything. No, they just want to keep everything ex like existing. They want Even, people to submit to them. Well, now they that they're already, active, <laughs> yes. They now they're they're already, they're well, they were invented only now. <laughs> Plus, they already rule everything because they created everything. Yeah, they made everything. Yes. Look. I don't defy me. Yeah, I guess they never occurred to them that people would would argue with wouldn't them. Wouldn't yeah. entity. So yeah. now they're like, oh, they're fighting. Well, you got to kneel. Yeah, <sighs> which is fair. I think that's All fair. Right. Like you, you listen, because Hickman will think about this. So you got to as well. And that's the idea that like these things are trillions of years old, uh -huh. and they don't think they can die. Yeah, okay. and so they're like, yeah. Like it's never even occurred to them yeah. to encounter resistance. When they do, they're like. Submit or die. Right. And then they're like, oh, and then and the and the Galactic and it, Council, who is not as old as them, but still pretty fucking old, is like, yeah. Submit. The builder said okay, so do it. Like, all right. So Th so Thor standing before the builder, and the builder's like, fucking get on your knees, bitch. And he's like, okay. But, so Thor kneels, and he and he. It's a cool scene. I hate that he steals from the Avengers movie, but he literally just says the line that Loki says when he makes every kneel. He says, "Is this not your natural state?" Uh, I'm like, really. No, well, you got it. You couldn't have just tweaked it. I get he says it, it's perfectly written, but yeah. like, do you have to take it totally from Loki's mouth? Yes. Anyway, yeah. it's he, great. But he says like, see, 
And he's probably he's pointing out what we're talking about. Where he's like, right. see, like, yeah, yeah, this is exactly where you belong, That's... and there will be no negotiations. <laughs> That's like, not what you're we do. here to submit what to show mean, you're not though? going to you're not going to defy me anymore. Okay, so you're just gonna kill everyone. Yes, the the, the terms are it's... you're dead. But why? Why should I submit then? What what incentive do I have? Because I said so. <laughs> it's bedtime. <laughs> so then, Opa. as he's calling for bedtime, Thor calls for Mjolnir, which is taking a quick trip around the sun, okay. and gaining momentum, and velocity and power, and it does return to Thor through the Builder's chest. Nice killing. Him. Oh. So the builder then immediately says, right before he dies, who well, you don't understand. This means the death of everything. Like, now he wants to negotiate. <laughs> right before he dies. Yep. And of course, by the way, this 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 little ploy was being broadcast to everyone. Oh. To say, like, look, your one mobilization force has given up. Look. And, and this will, of course, tell any other world right. that is defying us to knock it the hell off. Right. Instead. Uh, instead, they broadcast that they can bleed so we can kill them. <laughs> He's like, oh, but if only I had explained to you in clear terms right. what's happening, but I'm too fucking much of a douche. Yep. I'm just a dick. So, so Cap's like, see? They're not invincible. Yeah. And this immediately rallies everybody. And okay. so once... The... Everyone get hammers and throw them around the sun! <laughs> oh, Thor fucking rallies, like, this group of Kree soldiers who all have that, like, Ronan the Accuser, like, hammer? And so Thor's, like, he brings up his hammer and they raise their hammers and that's an Avengers world now. Every world that defies the Builders has an Avenger with them. Oh. And it's an Avengers world. And so we see the rise of these Avengers worlds. And everyone has their None. own element. And, and, Thor has his hammers, and then everyone. Cap finds a planet with Vibranium. shields. Vibranium? No, <laughs> it's not like that. But it is awesome and dope. And we do see that the universe fights back. We see a lot of different races like that you normally wouldn't see working with the Avengers right. teaming up and, and, and overthrowing the Builders. And, cool. and indeed they do. And they, and they wind up turning the tide and saving the universe. And dooming it as well. Uh, yeah, because later, they're not right? stopping the incursions. No, but they don't know about that. No, only the only, only, yeah, yeah, the only one right. of the Avengers who knew about the incursions was Cap, who, after he failed to stop the first one, was mind when he died Doctor Strange and then <laughs> sent on his merry way, none the wiser. <laughs> okay, Cap, you can't do anything here for us, so knock it off. Yeah, yeah. Here's the scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Uh, that should be with a giant splorch. <laughs> he didn't sully the page with a fucking onomatopoeia. Yeah. We know exactly what that sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> now, why does the builder say this means the everything dies? Because I died? Everything dies? It means... The, it, or does he foresee like, he oh, foresees, oh, you figured out how, like you could kill us, so yeah. now you're going to stop us. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe it's like, yeah, the virus of hope. Gives people strength to beat. It. I mean, the right. fact is, yeah, he's like, oh shit, yeah, like I didn't even know I could be beaten. Right. Thor says something awesome. <laughs> yeah, he says, "You don't understand. This means everything dies." And Thor says, "You first and smashes, smashes his, his head, with, head, the head with the hammer. I'm not gonna send around the sun again, though. Pretty dope, because uh, you're already right, you're you're fine. You're fucked. So back on Earth. Meanwhile, so meanwhile, Thanos, uh, of course, doesn't get destroyed by Black Bolt. He no, just, he just. Goes, oh, you want to play it like that? <laughs> so then he just beats the shit out of uh, Black Bolt, oh. and then just grabs him and he says, "Where's my son?" And starts shaking him <laughs> the way the Ebony Maw would not, <laughs> right. a little less subtle. <laughs> right, right. And Black Bolt is like, "Who?" <gasps> yeah, he doesn't know. Oh no, he doesn't know at all. Yeah. It's amazing. But he's shaking. He's like, "Where's my son?" <laughs> I have reports it might be an inhuman, and, uh, and and Black Bolt doesn't tell him. Also, because like it would also require him to use his voice. Blah blah blah. Right. But he says, "Take your secrets to the grave," and just drives him into the ground. Oh, he doesn't wow. kill him, but he does like knock him right the fuck out. Yeah. So now Black Bolt puts the him table. in a grave. Of the... In effect. Uh, well, yeah, because yeah, Black Bolt did so much. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's pre he's pretty cool. He's yeah. powerful. Sure, he blew up his entire city. That's great. But it was to kill Thanos, and Thanos is fine. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I knocked you out of the fight. 
you weren't doing much to begin with. It's true. What are you going to do? Do it again? Uh, I'll yell even louder. Oh. Wait, that was as loud as I could yell, I guess. Anyway. So, uh, Thane is now awakened. And uh, eventually, basically, the Ebony Maw discovers Thane. And he, like, reaches up to him. Uh, and he's like, hey, man. Hey. Like, you need to live up to your potential, dude. <laughs> like, you're not doing enough. And, cause, <gasps> you cause, can kill your father. <laughs> uh, right. And, like, because... The whole, like, all of the Black Order are working for Thanos because they all, like, worship death. Mm-hmm. Not, like, the same way that Thanos literally worships death, like, because like, she's a person. he wants the banger? Yeah. <laughs> no, they, like, they revere death. They want to die. That's, like, what their ultimate goal is. But, like, you know, like But, a like, later. Well, no, like, Thanos will kill them. They're all made of, like, really, really durable shit. Like, very little... Very few things in the world can kill them. Mm. Okay, so they're looking for, like, a glorious death. Yeah. One that, like, someone like Thanos can provide. And so uh, that's why they're, like, doing his bidding. And uh, I, I don't think the Ebony Maw is as interested. <laughs> so yeah. he's... But he, uh, he, he helps uh, facilitate Thane's eventual relevance in the book, besides right. being a MacGuffin. Okay. Uh, but anyway, the Avengers just tear ass across the galaxy and just kick the shit out of the builders. and They open a gateway to the negative side. Right. And release the Annihilation Wave. Yeah. On the Builders. Which is pretty fucking dope. <laughs> and I wish we had done Annihilation earlier to talk about the Annihilation Wave, because right. if if you knew how fucking destructive the Annihilation <laughs> Wave is, you would know what a goddamn mistake it would be to yes. open that door. Well, their ships look like locusts. Yeah. They are. But More somehow they contain it quickly enough. Yeah. Well, you also have, like, the... Co- the, the, the collective might of the galaxy at your disposal. Right. Although the Annihilation Wave threatened to destroy the whole, the galaxy. whole galaxy and in fact yeah. eradicated the Nova Corps. So, you know. Yeah. No, it's well, easy. You see, we opened a portal and then we just the opened the other portal on the other side. Right on the other side. So they just, go, right, right, they just wreck everything and then we'll go right back in. It's yeah. like a special move in Street no, Fighter. Annihilus knows that like the builders are going to wreck everything. So Annihilus is actually on the same fucking team. Oh. Annihilus is like, fine. I'll help you. I will help you with my with right. my annihilation wave. Cool. But after this, we yeah, it's oh, over. Man. Uh, who is this guy? That is an that is a robot emissary of the builders. Like, okay. The builders have their own robots that like okay. do shit for them. I keep seeing them, and I'm like, it kind of looks. They like They look a like the builders, but, but they're robots. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now they've basically beaten the builders in space. Yes, and then they find out. That Thanos on Earth and he's tearing shit up. Right. It's like, like oh, oh crap. Like so then they go. They have to. They have to head back. Okay. All but right. they haven't defeated the builders fully. Well, they, no, they, they did. did. They did. No, they did. The annihilation okay. wave. It looks like kind of kind of kind of wraps things up. Yeah. There are a few builders from across the multiverse that meet up and they're like, oh shit. But like right. they've pretty much been decimated. Their yes. fleet is okay. Here's the thing. The build. The the remaining builders. Yeah. Attempt to curtail the destruction of the universe by dealing with the Beyonders who are the reason for the incursions, and they are slaughtered. So, like, you don't have to worry about the builders no more. Okay. Hey, look, the pretty horses are... Yay! What? Remember the the Chimeers from uh, Maximum Security, who advocate for humanity's protection? Like, oh, we like the the humans. Yes. The humans are nice to us, they... They, they feed br- us apples. <laughs> they feed us apples. <laughs> and they, they brush our manes. And they give us pretty names <laughs> like Butterfly. <laughs> Sunflower. And Moonbeam. Yeah. 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 So you get this nice montage of the Avengers like helping everybody. Yes. Um, they construct an A out yeah. of debris and raise it up like a The flag. World War II statue. Yes. Iwo Jima Iwo Jima. Or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So that happens, and that but 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 Thane, but Thane. Now, yes, but now, now there's so now, Thane. So now Thane's here. Yeah, but Thane's here, and Ebony or and uh, Ebony Maw, Ebony Maw calls up. him up, and he's like, "Hey, what's he up?" Give him hey. some sweet armor. So uh, Thanos isn't done with Black Bolt, by the way. You know what's weird? Ooh. He dresses Thane up like he's an Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, yeah, well, well he's, he's all in gold. He's got these yeah, little balls. Got, I mean, like here's the thing: the Infinity Gauntlet is an extension of Thanos' armor. He puts him in a version of Thanos' armor. That yeah. makes sense. So, yeah, because yeah. he also looks like Thanos. Yes, with less purple. So. Right, okay. he's still purple though. I see uh, Thanos got new armor after fighting Black Bolt because Black Bolt like tore his armor to yes. shit. Oh yeah, of course. He's got like a, he's got a few spares. Yeah. All right, so he's got. Black so he see he's, so oh he's, my God. he's like, oh, this is a little tight. Damn it. <laughs> this is fucked up. I can see what you're about to describe. He shoves Black Bolt into a machine that is going to power a bomb that's going to blow up everything. Yeah, he ties, like, he puts 
a thing over his mouth so that his his power so power fuels like channeled the into this device. Which is not the first time I've ever seen Black Bolt power an instrument of destruction using his voice. All right, but uh, I so I like that little callback. Okay. But there's he has to scream to make it happen though, or talk. Yeah. Or is it just, is it just pe- like channel? You know, like, I, I wish that there was a scene where it was like, he has to scream. Oh, don't worry. Like, I'll says, make him. Says Corvus Glaive, poke. <laughs> yeah, see? Like, I could see a great thing where, where he's trying to, like, withstand the torture. Yeah. Then and then, can't. like, so, like do something terrible. Right, like, I'll torture Medusa in front of you. But Medusa gets away. But then they find out that laughter is more powerful than the screams of Black Bolt. Oh, that's perfect. And then they start showing, like, funny things. And they tickle him. Uh, and yeah, stuff. it's great. I feel like I've heard that before. You know, this is the first time it's ever been invented, it. and I'll copyright and, t- and patent that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Illuminati blows up another world. Yep. How, how does no one see this happening? I'm a little it, confused. It's kind of like, you can only really know if you're given the ability to know. They have these special little, like, devices that also allow them oh, to see the incursions. Oh, uh, okay. It's more like a state of mind. <laughs> You're like, remember... It's, it's not our dimension. Remember in, yeah. De- remember in uh, Avengers vs. JLA when Crone is trying to cram the Marvel and DC universes yeah, together? right. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that also happens. I was thinking of DC vs. Marvel, where they're trying to cram both universes together. Except that's not... Cronus cramming the universes together. In DC vs. Marvel, it's the universes are stupid robots that are yeah. fighting each other. And Cap and Batman are like, what are we seeing right now? Right. And lame-ass access is like, you're seeing what your minds can generate. It's not really big robots fighting, right. but like, it's the most complicated thing you could possibly imagine. So like, it's making it easy enough for you to not go insane it's the thing looking I could at draw, it. Yeah. is what it is. Yes. Isn't this cool? Uh, uh, I'd rather see a taco pooping out ice cream. Yes. <laughs> it was cooler in 1984 when I saw it the first time. So he's building a bomb, and we don't see what it does yet. It's going to wreck everything. It's going to wreck... He's going to blow up the world, I yes. guess, to kill... To the... kill his son. Yeah. Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah. But he's going to get the hell out of there first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Uh... So he goes to Wakanda, or the City of the Dead, which is part of Wakanda. Okay. Uh, a Roland, uh, which Wait, is... Wait, if uh... he's blowing up a bomb, why would he even... Bother seeing Bother? His son. Because Thanos is a petty dick who like to, wants to meet him and fucking kill him. That's a that's a bad plan. His problem's always been hubris. Anyway, so he bumps into Thane, and he's like, "Aha!" Uh-huh. And Ebony Maw is like, "Here he is. I found okay. him." So Ooh, like, Here you go. Your best bud now. Yeah, exactly. I'm playing both sides. And then he gets interrupted by a transmission from Titan. Yes, something's happened. Yeah, dun, yeah, dun, dun. yeah. The Avengers are coming. Yeah, so they're going to Titan to like draw Thanos back. Probably, maybe. Oh, the Avengers? Yeah. The, the Avengers is coming by. Like, oh, they hit okay. Titan, but they're also on their way. Titan's, oh, okay. of course, in the same solar system, so... Right. So, Ebony going... Maw put Thane in a containment field so that Thanos couldn't tell how powerful he was. So he couldn't kill him right away. So, when the Avengers wind up on Titan, yeah. or near Titan, they wind up bumping into another member of the Black Order. Oh, okay. uh, The Black Dwarf, I think. I don't remember what his name is, but I remember that in the Avengers Infinity War, they changed his name... To be, like... So the name of the team is the name of this guy now. Okay. Anyway, but they beat his ass and they kill him. All right. And they're fighting their way to Earth. And I guess Thanos they get has there. put, like, a blockade around Earth. And they're punching through it with their yeah. spaceships. Oh, and yeah. And so I guess they got the whole galaxy to help them... Yes. ...go fight The Avengers? Yeah. yeah. Well, the Avengers basically get, like... a the tide, so now... They, they, they get an escort. They yeah. get a police escort to get to Earth. Okay. This would be the most amazing moment for the rest of the universe to oh, backstab Earth. And yeah. be like, hey, we're finally all here. Let's all destroy Earth! Yeah. It's yeah. all the source They're, of our problems! They all us against the builders, but we still don't like you. So. The irony, of course, being if they did, they would have saved the universe. Right. So Supergiant Super Giant is left in charge of the bomb, and uh, she doesn't count on Maximus the Mad being there. Right. And he's like... Hey, baby. And he's like, hey, baby, what's <laughs> going on? Uh, and she's like, oh, well, I'll, I'll kill you. And he's like, you didn't count on me and the most powerful member of the uh, Inhumans royal family. And that's uh, Lockjaw. And so what? Lockjaw teleports um, Supergiant and the bomb oh. to an uninhabited planet. Oh, sweet. Which removes the bomb, kills Supergiant, you know, blows up this cool bomb. <laughs> and it's great because you get a cool moment for Lockjaw. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, cool. So they take care of the bomb. Bombs so take care of the bomb. Bomb's off the table. Now we've just got to deal with Thanos and his uh, Black Order. Right. Or the remaining members of the Black Order. So, we're um, so they throw all the heavy hitters at him. Hulk shows up. Uh, Hyperion 
busts oh, out. Wow. Uh, in fact, there's a moment where um, Proxima Midnight, who is, of course, uh, banging Corpse Glaive, uh, she fires one of her, like, energy projection thingies from her cool weapon. Yeah. Uh, and the, it's it's made of, like, an unbelievable power that can kill blah, blah, blah. And uh, so she shoots at Captain America, and he blocks it with his shield. Is this Hyperion? That's Hyperion. Okay. Yeah. You know, because he looks kind of like Superman. Yeah. He's a member of the uh, well, Squadron he Supreme. fucking blows him away with his heat vision. Yeah, well, because uh, like, Hyperion... Has heat vision. Has heat vision. Okay, cool. Yeah. So Hyperion and Cap, like, work together. Yeah, well, they... Cap, like... I don't think Cap does it on purpose. Right. But Cap blocks the uh, the Proxima Midnight beams. That hits Corvus Glaive. That messes him up. Yeah. And uh, and then Hyperion fucking just uh, unloads the rest of his, like, solar vision out of him. Vaporizes him. Yeah. Wow. All right, cool. Yeah. And uh, so Corv- so uh, the only ones who are left are Ebony Maw, Proxima Midnight, and Thanos. Thanos, right. And then... Uh, Ebony Maw notices that, like, it ain't gonna work. We just killed a number of members of the Black Order. It's yeah. not gonna turn out okay. So then, and then the and then the lightning comes. And, like, a lightning storm appears. Uh-huh. And then Thor fucking comes out of nowhere and just drops the hammer onto Thanos. Nice. And then Thanos just fucking drags him through the mud <laughs> immediately. Yeah. You're thinking, like, oh, this oh. is sick! No. No. But once, Thor can't fight Thanos. But once once Hulk wakes up, it's over. Oh, yeah? Uh, but we don't get there. Okay, Thane. Time for you to prove you're the son of Thanos. Like, stop him. Oh. And so Thane unearths this deep, hidden power. And he it, and he traps Thanos and Proxima Night by association into a kind of, like, cube of amber that forces them both in, into living death. Living death. Ooh. Which is a fancy way of saying a stasis field that I can open up when I want to use Thanos later in this story. Sure. But uh, don't That's worry. It? He's totally dead. He's living death. That's He's the living end. living death. Well, the, the end of the no. story is that Thanos is betrayed, or rather the, ter- right. the tide is turned by his son, whom he wanted to kill, and he is betrayed by Ebony Maw. And then Ebony Maw and Thane, like, bail. He's like, you got more shit to do. Let's do this. Uh, okay. So then the two of them like go off into the galaxy together. And Thanos and Proxima Midnight are in this cube, which are then brought by the Illuminati into their like hidden secret base, where they also keep the Black Swan and an alternate reality Terax, who was on the incursion world that they destroyed. Okay. And so they're like, <laughs> okay. they're basically like this weird living trophy room of people. And uh, so they're, okay. they're left there by the Illuminati. And the Illuminati are like... That was a distraction, but the end is coming. Right. And... Because <laughs> we still got these incursions. That no one can know about but us. Right. And so, like... we can't punch them. No. So Cap and, like, Iron Man are working together to, like, rebuild. And you're like, yeah! And meanwhile, the Illuminati are like, nope. It doesn't matter. It doesn't it matter. You've, de- you've only delayed the inevitable. Right. And so the fact, story ends we, on a... We probably should have just lost. Yes. Yeah. So the end is like... It, it ends on a, on a rather sour note. Yeah. Um, but it's cool. It's cool. You do have a good, like, direct, brutal confrontation with Thanos. Yes. There and is just you unload so a, much shit. You unload a, There's a lot more. <laughs> that many people in the comments are very angry that we did not talk about. <laughs> You didn't talk about these two characters kissing. I did not. So how is this going to tie in with the movie? Like, the movie has the Infinity Gauntlet. How does the movie tie in? Well... Well, I guess because it'll have the black... Here's the deal. People, the Thanos world, the, needs the to come order. to Earth. Yeah. Right? Yes. Just like he does in this book. Okay. Only instead of getting his son, he wants the Infinity Gems. Okay. So Thanos is coming to Earth for a reason. Just right. like in this book. Okay. He's going to have with him an entourage. That entourage? The Black freaking Order. Okay. The Black Order will be sent to deal with multiple members of the Avengers team. Okay. We're also going to see the largest formation of the Avengers team ever assembled. Like in this book. Okay. Uh, Corvus Glaive will, de- will, will deal with certain power members of the Avengers. Okay. Uh, Ebony Maw will directly deal with Doctor Strange. Strange. Okay. So, like, right. there's a lot of these uh, balls in the air that are directly stolen from this book. Okay. Um, we're going to probably see some, like, cool space battles. We're going to see oh. a couple of, like, key character moments. We're also uh, going to find the rest of the Infinity Gems. We're also going to have well, all the yeah. Infinity Gems. You think... Uh, well, that's not from this book, though. We're talking about... No, in that... Uh, I'm just talking about them in the movie. In the movie, like, yes, but happen, yeah. he's asking why they're... Why, why they're how, how they're connected. connected. Yeah. 
you think they're gonna have like the like races of the galaxy like uniting? Now that's a good question. I think in instead you're going because like who's gonna be no. in a big space? I think now? they're going to blend. I think they're gonna build the idea into like you know how the builders were wrecking everything on their way to Earth. Yeah, that was Thanos, Thanos now. Thanos okay. is wrecking everything on the way to Earth. Sure. So we'll see New Xandar. It's destroyed. Right. That's where he got the... Well, because he had to go there to get the... To get the power gem. Yeah. So he'll do... The, so you'll see images that are just like Age of Ultron. What was Age of Ultron ripped from the comics? Nothing. I think Ultron's in it. <laughs> like, Ultron yeah. is in the movie Age of Ultron more than the Ultron comic. This will have a little bit of connection, but, like, it's still just a... It's, it's, just it's its own game. thing. Yes. and you. But what's cool is it'll also be a nice, like distillation of all these key things you'll remember like hey you remember that great moment in Infinity Gauntlet when Cap stares down Thanos when everything was against him you'll see that like hey you remember when Thanos like snaps his fingers and destroys half the universe you'll see a reference to that mm -hmm. hey remember that scene in Infinity when like Thanos shows up and Thor fucking brings down the thunder you'll see that hey you remember that moment in Infinity uh, Gauntlet? Gauntlet when uh, Thanos creates a female version of himself he starts making out with her <laughs> You won't see that. You will not see that. You will not see. Yeah, you remember what happens uh, at the end when he fucking becomes a farmer? <laughs> no, you're gonna he will see not. that. I mean, here's the thing. He is. You remember when Adam Warlock shows up and like <laughs> and traps him in the Soul Stone? Like, yeah, uh, you will not be seeing that either. But uh, it'll be cool nonetheless. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna leave the description box down below a link to pick up at the very least this this volume because like Jesus, there is a there's a soft uh, version that I'll put down there, which will be cheaper, but. Uh, it's got, it's got the collections of the Avengers, the New Avengers, uh, some of the tie-ins, and also the main series, Infinity, which has a lot more stuff than I mentioned. But, like, listen, this is I'm just talking about the story, Infinity. Yeah. Just, like, this is what happened in, 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 in Infinity. Not, like, the sprawling epic of, like, four years' worth of Jonathan Hickman stories. Right. Like, if you expected that to be done in an hour, you're, you're kidding. Sorry. Like, no, not happening. No. And I think I went into, like, I, I, I covered a couple of cool moments. I didn't get to go into, like, minute detail about, like, character interactions. Right, right. You know, like, and we totally didn't even get to talk about Starbrand and Nightmask and Captain Universe and how important she was. But, like, you know what? Like, that's for you to discover in this book. I, I, I charge you to go read it. It will be fun. And none of it will be in the movie. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoyed it because that movie comes out tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. So I'm looking forward to it myself. I mean, who isn't, really? Yeah. Come on. But, uh, yeah. Plus, uh, unlike this book, Spider-Man will be in it. <laughs> Ooh, also a little caveat to that. Uh, the superior Spider-Man is in this book. This Doc Ock. Oh, really? That's the Spider-Man. What? Oh, yeah. I didn't even see him. He must have he, been He's, he's only in the beginning, and yeah. he says, like, what the devil? And you're like, shut up. Get out uh, of here. Get away from this. What the deuce? Yeah, get out of here. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. Thanks for watching.